Hello everyone! So, Happy New Year! I know it's been a while since I posted my last video, but I wanted to wait until I got my new camera, which is why I might be looking slightly to the side every once in a while, because I'm not used to having a viewfinder. So, I might get used to it with a little while, but I really wanted to start this year off right so let's just hop right into the content of this video. Today's video is going to be a video with some traveling tips. I have been traveling a lot lately. Actually, in 2014, I got into 23 planes. Yes, I counted. It was way too many planes. And I decided I'd try to count it out. So around 23 planes, I guess you can say I traveled a lot. So I thought... Who better to do traveling tips than me right here, Travel Girl. I actually made a little list on my phone so that I wouldn't forget anything. The first thing is more packing wise and I would say to put every product that may spill into a Ziploc. That includes lotions, even if they are screw-ons, I will always put them into a Ziploc because the pressure from the plane can cause even screw-on lids to burst out. So if you have everything inside a little Ziploc, even if it does burst out, it won't get all over your clothes. I actually had an experience, um, one of my latest travels, that I always put also nail polish inside of it and this one nail polish, the lid unscrewed itself somehow in the suitcase and it just got all over but all over the little Ziploc bag that I had because I put it in Ziploc bags. So thankfully it didn't ruin any of my clothes. Tip number two is to roll up your clothes in little rolls because that way it saves space and keeps them from wrinkling which is really, really helpful, especially when you have a really nice shirt that you have to wear to a certain event or something. Another thing that relates to rolling clothes up is putting socks and maybe some of those rolled up t-shirts that you don't care if they wrinkle a little bit inside your boots and inside closed toed shoes because it helps the shoe keep its shape, but it also prevents it from taking space because it's stuff from things that you actually need to take. Tip number four, is to flip any clothes that have sequins on them inside out so that the sequins won't catch on to other clothes and then pull strings and you'll you might end up ruining things because things do shift and although rolling does help with keeping things very compact and not much contact area with other clothes sequins tend to get tangled and pull threads out of different clothes that are not even close to it. Tip number five is more related to accessories. So it's to put all your necklaces, like the little chain of it, like this chain right here, you can pass it in through a straw and then close it. That way it'll keep it from getting tangled. I can't tell you guys how many times I spent like 50 minutes trying to untangle necklaces. Like it takes forever and it is really annoying, but I would advise you to get maybe milkshake straws because they are thicker and depending on the chain that you have, if the lock is a little bit bigger, it won't go through a normal straw. So definitely get milkshake straws if you can. Moving on to more actual traveling tips rather than packing, my first one would be to carry your passports in kind of like a fanny pack thing and this is the one I carry and I carry it inside my t-shirt because it is pretty thin and it doesn't have much volume. So what I do is I put two my two passports here because I have two passports. Long story short, I'm a dual citizen, but I put my two passports in here and I normally put in some cash and my debit card in here. So I'll keep that under my shirt as I'm traveling and this is especially helpful if you're traveling in trains where you want to have a nap, you want to make sure that your stuff is safe and even if your purse does get stolen, especially if you're traveling around Europe or something, you'll still have your most important documents with you and no one can see them 
it does get a little messy when you're at the airport trying to get your passports in and out of this because you need to like lift your shirt up and all that but as for the card it's super simple I normally put my debit card in here and I just use my credit card until I get to the airport and I can put my passports in a safe so I definitely recommend having one of these my mom had these I think handmade for us I'm not quite sure and they were a little too big for me so I had to like tie a knot around it because I have really tight waist but these are super simple and if you guys want to, I could probably do a DIY on this. My next tip for traveling is to wear a really, really huge scarf that can double as a blanket. And this is the one I got, and it is, I'm not even kidding you guys, it's like huge. I got this, I think, from Zara. They have like awesome scarfs, Zara, Zara, I don't know what people actually call it. And I got it in white, and I don't know why, I kind of regret getting it in white because it gets really dirty and I'm scared of spilling stuff on it, but I've been pretty good of keeping it clean so far. But it is huge, and it doubles as a blanket, so you're wearing it as a scarf, and if the plate gets really, really cold, and they don't have blankies, you can always cuddle up in one of these, and it is huge, 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 huge. But yeah. So, a scarf that doubles as a blanket. My last and final tip is to travel either with sneakers or shoes that you can easily put on and off because as you're going through security, you don't want to be in zipping like really hard boots or if you're wearing like your Doc Martens, you don't want to be wearing those because you know you're going to have to take them off and then you have to like unlace them and all that and depending on the sneakers you have, they don't require you to take it off. But what I normally wear, are these boots that I got in H at H&M and they're basically slip-ons. I'm not going to show them to you guys right now because I wear them a lot and they're really, really dirty and should I show them? Yeah, I'm just going to show it to you guys. Here they are and they are heel. These might be hard to walk in or be uncomfortable, but I find them very comfortable to walk in, especially because when I'm in the plane, I tend to take my shoes off, which is why you should always wear fuzzy socks when you're going on flights, because it's nice and comfy. So these are really easy to take off and off. I can literally like slip them in and slip it out, and it's so easy, no zippers. So I definitely recommend having an easy shoe to take on and off or wearing a sneakers. Anyway, this will be it for my traveling tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more travel related videos, let me know in the comments. And if you have any requests for videos, let me know in the comments as well. I am going to be doing a lot more fun content this year. I'm working really hard. I actually have the entire semester of videos planned out. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Right.